2 of West Coast Nationals is ready to get underway here at Red Bluff. Uh, super excited to kick it off. Tonight's going to be a little bit bigger of a night. We'll run um, the second round of heats as well as a qualifier and the King of the Hill dash if we make it. So tonight we we kind of did the easy work yesterday, started towards the front of our heat races. So tonight we'll start towards the back with it being a full invert. So for the OI heat race, we're going to be rolling off from six. And then the 50 heat race, we're also going to be rolling off from six. So we're just going to um, move forward and try to gain some passing points here. My goal is to kind of get into the top three in both. But overall, like if we could get second, that would be really, really great. So just got to go out there, make some passes and get some points and get the 321 to the front. So heat races are going to be up next. We'll have the OI heat up first and then the 250 heat to follow. After this incident, it had bent my shifter back so I couldn't reach it and it ended up popping into fifth gear making my motor slow down a lot and my car was bent really bad so it was very hard to turn it into the corner. Our heat races are complete um first off the oi heat race we did well um i really wanted to get into second but ultimately um the two cars in front of me were just kind of using both the lanes and it was hard to get by but eventually i was able to get by and finish third um overall a solid run uh that car felt good i felt fast and then in the 250 heat race we just had just a really rough go at it um right off the bat Everyone was just bouncing around everywhere and um, two cars got tangled right in front of me and it ended up hitting me and collecting me in, in carnage. And after that happened, our car was really messed up, was really hard to turn and it also shifted up into fifth gear, which made the motor not run properly. And I couldn't get it shifted back down because the shifter was bent back. So um, we went back out and uh, ran 
as fast as we could. And, um, we got past one or two cars maybe, and then after that, we um, I went into the bottom of one corner and my eye just got super duper tight on my car and um, biked up and ended up going over. So obviously a really disappointing end to our heat race started. So the results from that would be started sixth and finished eighth, I believe, um, with a DNF. So sucks. Um, we're next. We're now gonna have qualifiers. Qualifiers are um, an eight-car invert based off of points. So you want, um, so where, so for the OI car, since we have been doing well, um, we are lined up. Uh, third in points, which is going to line us up to start seventh in the first qualifier. And we just got to move forward and gain, get some more passing points and try to do well in this qualifier. Um, but we're set up pretty well in that car, so hopefully we'll be able to make the dash. I believe if we just gain a couple spots uh, in this qualifier, we should be able to make the dash, no problem. And then for the 250 class, we definitely have um, some work to do. We start fourth, so we need to get to the front in order to get some points to help us um, get into the dash. I believe we're 14th in points right now, and I believe the top eight go to the trophy dash, so we really gotta gain as much points as possible. That way we can have a chance of making in, it into tonight's dash. So. so qualifiers are gonna be up next. We'll have the OI qualifier, and then the 250 qualifier to follow.
Well, the qualifiers are complete and it well for both cars. Uh, starting off with the OI, we started off a little bit rough. A car spun right in front of me, leaving me nowhere to go. So then we had to go to the back, but ultimately we were able to come back up and finish in the fourth position. So that was good. My car fell fast. I feel like I definitely had a chance to get to the third place car, but we just didn't have enough of a run. And then for the Chibiti, we ended up starting third because one car didn't make the call. Um, so we started third, I got into second right off the bat, and then uh, the leader spun, and I was able to take over the lead and lead the rest of the laps from there. So um, we're looking pretty good tonight. Now we're going to have the King of the Hill dashes up next. With ha with all of our points combined, we are, are we have both cars locked into the to, into the King of the Hill dash, which is super awesome, and I'm super excited for it. So oh, I King of the Hill dash is going to be up first, and we're going to be rolling off from third in that one, and then we'll have the... To get the King of the Hill Dash to follow, and we'll, we will be rolling off from fifth in that one. So, OI King of the Hill Dash is going to be up next, and we're going to be rolling off from third. Just to finish off the night, the OI King of the Hill Dash, we did well, and I was able to win uh, group number one, and then the second group, I just didn't, I was good, but I just kind of made a couple mistakes that led me to drop back one position, so the good news is we have both of our cars locked into the A main, and both of them are starting in within the top six, which is super awesome. The OI will be rolling off from fourth in the A, which is really great starting spot. Um, I did a, I've been doing a lot better than I expected uh, in the OI car. I, I was hoping to do well, but I really didn't think I was going to do this well. But Jimmy gave us a really good uh, motor to run, and, and our car has been re really fast. And then for the 250 car, we were fast. I think our car was definitely fast. We won group number one, or round number one. Um, I think I was just a little tight the whole time, but overall we were still, we were still pretty fast. Um, and after round number one, I was lined up to start third in the second round and the car in front of me just got a horrible start and after he got a bad start, I really couldn't like race with anyone or work with anything just because I had already been so put so far back because the car in front of me got a bad start. We're rolling off from fifth in the uh, 250 feature, so night number two of West Coast is complete. 
tonight went pretty well. We had a little bit of a rough start to our night. Didn't do very good in our 250 heat race getting upside down, but overall we were able to come back. Not only are we locked into the aiming event for West Coast Nationals in both of my cars, but we are also going to be starting within the top six in both classes, which is awesome. So overall, night number two here at West Coast is complete, and I'm super happy with our resort. So we're now just gonna have the aimings tomorrow to finish off the 2024 West Coast Nationals. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lights out.